o obey the laws here on Monarch, human. How can I help? We've, we've already been over this. It was a moment of weakness, a stumble brought on by unbridled passions. But my emotions are firmly in check once more. We need to stay focused on stopping Darth Malak. And I want the others to stay focused as well. I don't want them to get suspicious and start gossiping about our little encounter. So until our mission is over, we need to act with discretion. We shouldn't speak of this anymore. Not until Malak is defeated. What do you need? Talk about what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. Fighting between the Republic and the Sith is spreading far. I wonder how long the time will last. He's got all the proper culto trading permits, so back off. Vassal, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the End of Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a... Legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Karth. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight.
So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure he'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war on. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a... I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. It's north of here, just east, past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. You can't miss it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to continue my recruitments. You're here to offer me a job. I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Achani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Now, normally I'd charge you for information, but times are good right now, and I'm feeling generous. So ask your questions, free of charge. If there ever were any ruins on this world, they've long since disappeared beneath the oceans. I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malak. So I hate the Sith just as much. And with this war, there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides and make a nice profit along the way. You men are the ones who are always practical that way. Not like those bloodthirsty Eridorians or those honor-bound Ichani. Or anything else you want? No, nothing. Except that the Ichani are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in the battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Ichani are better than the Eridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each other when the battlefield hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I can pretty much name my price right now. Especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. So why are you telling me? If you're going, go. I don't need a status report. Some of the soldiers like to go and bet on the spooks on their day off, but this planet is bad enough without mingling with the locals. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Malik should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Koto or no. 
but I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? Are you some kind of historian or something? You should forget about the past, look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic is old news. And then I get stuck on Manan, the worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Manage, but I don't really want to talk about that right now. Oh, I get it. I get it a little bit wild, and you want to hold it. Come on, what's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I'm... Friends, tell us what you know. I am not for hire. Why do you care? There are other mercenaries you can hire, though I su they're not so desperate they have asked for my help as of yet. They prefer the simpering, submissive type. Ask whatever you wish. Perhaps. But my business with this... Your threats are mere... But we are not... comfortable with spying on the Republic, but if, if we could assure the self cat that they mean no harm, then... And what if the Republic does mean harm, Carl? Will you tell them? If the Republic did mean harm to the self cat then I want to know what the self cat did to the boat. How very noble.
Vassila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Reverend Valor and to fight the Warriors? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Or would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something about me. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on the coast? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. The entire time would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't do it. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And the Republic chose to walk the easy path, rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You ask me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Every single one of them would speak to I, I think, let's just get back to the castle. Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the Core Worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you underestimate our resolve. Sorry, buddy, but the hotel is closed. Ever since the murder, the Selkath have made me keep this place locked up tight. Only the Selkath authorities, and those authorized by them, are allowed in. This old Republic war hero by the name of Sunri was seeing the Sith woman here, Alasa. Well, they were seeing each other, but the other night a blaster went off in one of the rooms. Sunri got seen leaving the place, and the Sith woman was dead on the floor. But not everyone thinks this Sunri did it. So the Selkath are holding him in prison while the case gets sorted out. In the meantime, they closed down my hotel. But enough about my problems. You can't stay here while the investigation is on. You'll have to find someplace else to stay. Sorry. Didn't work. Welcome to Manon. 
I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Oh, of course. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Faraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Good. It is a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. I can't talk. I can't. If you got a problem, go talk to our diplomatic representative. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi power... He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. Well, if it's so important, just go then. Not like losing... You're back. Do you want to interrogate the prisoner? While the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion, we have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. 
If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, you may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. <sighs> oh, what do you want? You're not. <laughs> you lies. You work for the Republic. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. I am Sith. I will never betray them. Your Republic is weak, and will soon fall at any rate. You think me weak enough to give in to false promises of wealth and riches? The Sith are stronger than that. We will have it all eventually anyway. Oh, what do you want? Tila? How did you find out about her? No, please don't hurt her. Please! You think bribes will work? You must be dumber than I thought to think that a Sith would join the losing side just for credits. Do whatever you want. I know you will fail. My fellow Sith are probably even now trying to free me. Oh, what do you want? Oh, what companion? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. Ha! The Sith are stronger than you. Each one of us. You'll never break us. Nothing you could do to us would make us talk. We Sith are stronger than you give us credit for. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. <laughs> no, never. Damn, he blanked out. Uh. 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 What do you want? What? What companion? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. Ha! The Sith are stronger than you. Each one of us. You'll never break us. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily. But they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. You can't do this to me. They would kill me in ways too horrible for you to imagine. Nothing you could do to us would make us talk. We Sith are stronger than you give us credit for. Oh, what? Tila? How did you find out about her? All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... It's Zeta 2456980 Alpha. Just no more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long or they might learn that he's been captured. So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. Oh, okay. 
Well, I'll just explain the, the encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. What? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. about overpowered bikes. You got any armor plating for my spook bike? You fed on Delva. Holy feed on Delva. Holy truth blood on Delva. I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk. You fish are a strange breed. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back.
Only people who have business with the Sith are allowed in. Ha! We know. Oh, really? You mean someone like you actually has some real purpose inside? Well then, what is it? <laughs> yes, well, I, I suppose you really do have some business here. Head on in. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? Your passcode is out of date, and I don't recognize you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes? Ha! <laughs> 
Certainly you must have heard of the destruction of Taras. It's your honorable friends that committed that atrocity. Well, great. It can't be that hard to find proof of the Sith's activities, can it? Use the force then. Look into your heart and you will realize what is truth and what is lies. <laughs> You've been saved from more than you know. Given time, the Sith would have turned you fully to the dark side, and you would have betrayed your world gladly. <laughs> Recognize you? Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall re. You ask! Let's make this. You ask. 
The Force fights with me! The Force fights with me! Thank <laughs> you. 